What's up everyone, this is Cybernight, and today I'm going to open up two of these uh, Santa gift boxes from Big and Collectibles for you guys. See, I opened up one of these the other day, so for this video I thought I would just open up the other two that I got. And if you guys are wondering about these, I'll have a link in the description. Basically, they can have just random stuff in these boxes, and uh, they are $29.99 each, and also if you buy three of them, you get free priority shipping. So, uh, yeah, it's a pretty cool deal, and uh, last time, though, I didn't have the best luck, so I'm hoping these are going to be epic because of that, okay? So, the Christmas spirit will help me out or something, I, I don't know, <laughs> but, or at least I heard the card something, maybe they'll team up. But anyway, let's go ahead and open these up and uh, see what we get, because there are a lot of different things you can get. I, I think there are different versions than what I opened up last time, too. So, I, I remember him telling me that there was all kinds of stuff, basically. And, of course, they sent me these to open up, too, so... Link in the description. Kind of. There. <laughs> I'm not one of those people that just saves the wrapping paper or nothing. <laughs> now you rip into a box. That's what you do. That pack opening has taught me anything. This was training for my YouTube career, right? <laughs> opening presents when I was younger. There we go. Well, I think, yeah. All right, yeah, it looks like we got different stuff this time. Okay, cool. Uh, first off, we have the Kaiba Corp sleeves, which these are pretty awesome. I, I love the design of these. So I'm glad we got these in English. Also, we have the deck box to go along with it. Pretty cool as well. I mean, it's basically the same design. <laughs> then, after that, we have a Flames of Destruction Special Edition. Please have better luck with this one, because this is one that could be really good. And then another one. So, yeah, Flames of Destruction, always good to get. That's what I've been saying lately. Then, of course, we actually have a pop figure this time of Dark Magician Girl. I actually have the full set of these now. <laughs> I, I probably will open up this one because I have a set of them sealed, so I thought I would, you know, have four sealed, have four opened. But yeah, we'll do that here in just a second. And then also a one of the Legendary decks, actually, one of the Legendary Hero decks. This is the Nordic one. That's pretty cool to throw in as well. I know, like he said, too, he would throw in a lot of different random stuff. Like, last time we got some different random stuff, like a fidget spinner, which, yeah. <laughs> but that's still kind of cool. I still think that gave me bad luck, though. There was something to that. But yeah, let's open a pop figure. I know people are going to hate me probably for opening a pop figure, but you know what channel you're on. I open up rare packs and stuff all the time, too. Whoa! <laughs> Darmy Chico tried to run away. <laughs> there we go. There is the figure. Pretty cool. Uh, again, I'm glad they make Dark Magician Girl because they do that with everything, but I still would have liked a Dark Magician figure like this, too. So maybe they'll continue and make more of these. Even though I'm not much of a pop collector, I mean, when you bring Yu-Gi-Oh! into the picture, y you got me. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Leaner against the Pokeball. I think that'll work. I've opened up this before. Um, let's see what else we have here. Might have a few things we can do, like, a giveaway with or something. Since we've opened up that uh, legendary deck before, we have World Legacy Memory and then Morning Glacier. Not bad. Seems to be the two I normally get from those, which is probably the better. All right, Heart of the Card. Tell me out here. Let's get something awesome. Madolce, Shadal as well, and so uh, wind up Zen Maintenance. Man, we got a few Link Monsters there, and uh, the Sanctified Dark Lord. Every time that you see a Link Monster with this set, you always wonder what you got. I mean, <laughs> you have nightmares in this set. So that's usually what I'm trying to hunt down. And, well, okay, there's an Ultra Rare. I'll take that. Uh, Element Saber uh, Malu. It's pretty cool. Because last time, we just got all Super Rares. And also Waking the Dragon. That's good, too. It's one of the better commons of this set. And last one. Yeah, after that, <laughs> the other boxing uh, with all super rares, uh, I'll take any kind of ultra I can get, that's for sure. <laughs> I'm not going to complain. And, oh, it's a trap card. Man, it's World Legacy Sorrow. I always think it's impermanence because, come on, that's always on everyone's mind with this set, right? That's still kind of cool, I guess. But, yeah, <laughs> it's not impermanence. All right, here's the other one. Yeah, you see a, a trap card, though. Where your hollow is supposed to be, uh, yeah, that's what, <laughs> that's what everyone wants to try to get. Universal Adapter, another Morning Glacier. For some reason, I don't get, uh, Grand Soil often from this special edition, which, again, I guess, I guess Morning Glacier is the better one. Well, there we go, Called by the Grave. <laughs> that's a good common, too. 
and Element Saber uh, La Paula Ma Mana. Yeah, I always have a hard time saying that one. Protron. Let's see. Come on, Link Monsters. Give me uh, any of the nightmares, really. The Link Monsters. Well, another Called by the Grave. Okay, I'm fine with that. It's at three now, so <laughs> get a few extras. And uh, Rainbow Refraction, as well as Great Fly. And Heart of the Cards. Show me out here. Last pack. Let's see what we can get. Can we end with uh, something above Supra? I'll say that. Let's see. I've had good luck with the set lately, too, so I kind of think that's why I'm not having the best luck right now. I can't complain. The other opening we did, we got, like, three Seeker Rares, so, yeah. Oh, okay, that's a good Ultra. I'll take that. <laughs> that's a good end off with. We have Ultra Guys uh, Multifaker. Not bad at all. There we go. And uh, Firefighting uh, dra Drama Doll. That is awesome, though. Okay. <laughs> that That's one of the best Ultra Rares of the set. Definitely take that out. I've had good luck getting this card, too, lately. Like, I have, like... I don't know how many play sets of, <laughs> of Multifaker. There we go. I'll put a sleeve on that one. And uh, let's see what's in our other box here, which, uh, man, I need a bigger table. Let's do it like this. There we go. Get the ribbon off it. It makes it so much easier. There. And uh, let me kind of sort things real quick. There we go. Thought I would just put all the hollows together, and we'll do a recap at the end. I don't know if I'm on camera anymore, sorry. <laughs> but we'll do a recap, and uh, you guys can see all the hollows then. I'll just do that, because I don't have a lot of room to work with. All right, so, oh, Return of the Duel Special Edition. That's pretty good. I've heard a lot of hype lately of this again, because spell books. So, they have some good luck with that. That'd be awesome. Uh, let's see, uh, Severn of Karazin. Then another one of the uh, Hero decks. This one is, of course, the, well, Heroes. <laughs> so there you go, Destiny Heroes. Then, oh, cool, we have a deck box, actually, on this one. Tandem deck box. So I guess it's for basically two decks. That's interesting. And then we also have a Mega Ten. Of course, it's the one with uh, Neos on it. There, get rid of that. And you know what? It's kind of a quick giveaway. I'm going to give away both of these. For, they're from Legendary Hero Decks. You basically have everything, I guess. You're just missing, of course, the um, the Phantom Knights one. But anyway, yeah, it'll be worldwide. Link in the description. I'm going to use Gleam. Just make sure you're subscribed. Click that link down in the description. It'll walk you through everything. It gets your info, and I will contact the winner. The, the giveaway will end at whatever time I put on the screen, because I don't know when I'm uploading this video just yet, and I'll announce it on Twitter and uh, YouTube. So how about that? Worldwide giveaway, though, so it doesn't matter where you are. If you're seeing this video, you can enter this giveaway. Just that simple, okay? And uh, let's just get to the opening. Figure I'll do that because, yeah, I've opened up several Legendary Hero decks and everything, and I've gotten everything I need from them, so I thought that'd be a good giveaway. It is the time of giving. Have Eternal Galaxy and Spiral Super Agent. So I hope maybe, you know, especially if someone couldn't get those or something for some reason, maybe that'll help them out. Be a good Christmas present or something. All right, what can we get? Uh, Noble Knight Pelnor. Well, at least we got a Noble Knight, I guess. Demise as well. I was going to separate the hollow on that one. At least we got a Megaton, so we're guaranteed some pretty good cards from that, too. That's probably the best version of this box, then. Oh, do we? Oh, we have a man. It, this is the card that always does that. Crusadia uh, Magus. So, yeah, I always think it's uh, like Boral Sword. I don't know why. Every time, though, it's a Link Monster. So, yeah, it throws me off every time. I've talked about that before when we've done uh, some openings with it. Last one. Because Boral Sword's that easy to get. <laughs> yeah. Trigunity Legion. And a Crusadia Maximus. Man, I'm just not having the best luck with special editions today. Unfortunate. Oh, well. Uh, let's go ahead and go with this uh, Return of the Duelist Special Edition. See what we can get. First, remember, this is an older set, so you are not guaranteed a hollow. And uh, we have a uh, number 30 Acid Golem. Not bad. What was the, was the other promo? That was Hyper Librarian, by the way. It was the other promo, if you don't know. For some reason, there you go. Both promos were pretty decent, I guess. Uh, Hyper Librarian, I think, was the main one people wanted, though. Okay. Dolce. Get a few of those would be good, too. 
And uh, let's see, Chronomaly's uh, Crystal Bones. And, well, there you go. Speak of the devil. We got Madolce card. Uh, we have uh, Madolce Pudding Sis. Not bad at all. That is really good. And there's one of the spell books, too. But I'll definitely take that. I think the main one, though, people want is uh, Magellan. Is that her name? I think it's the one that's in purple. So I know that's always like the expensive one. But uh, yeah, Pudding Sis, that's good, too. I mean, they are actually getting new support from Madolce's. I think it is Savage Ray, if I'm not mistaken. So who knows? <laughs> that's pretty good, though. I'll definitely take that. It's an ultra rare. And like I said, my luck with uh, special editions hadn't really been the best. So let me get one of my sleeves. And there we go. That's a good start to the special edition. Okay, it makes me feel a little bit better about my special edition opening. <laughs> but man, it's, it's bad when the older ones where you're not guaranteed a hollow, you have better luck with. But I'd rather have my good luck on this one, though. See, another one of the Chronomalies. This one's Colossal Head. Kind of interesting. I'm kind of surprised we don't have a Chronomaly Link Monster yet. I think that might be good if you come up with something pretty decent with Nebra Disc and everything. It could work. Oh, there's Block Golem. I remember using this card a lot. Let's see. We have Madolce uh, Tea Break, and we're ending with... Oh, not a Hollow, unfortunately. Oh, well. I did get an Ultra Rare, so I'm fine with that. And uh, let's go on ahead and open up this Mega Tin. See what we get. Of course, you get three mega packs in these. Uh, you're guaranteed three hollows, two out of each pack. So you can't really go wrong with mega tens. And this one was a pretty good mega ten. It wasn't like last year's. Last year's was kind of debatable. This one I think is pretty good. So go ahead and open up the promo pack. I know you guys have probably seen this several times, but we're just gonna go with it again because it has been a while. So Nebula Neo Switch. You might want to pick some of these up anyway because we are getting new Neo support. Then, of course, uh, Solid Soldier, Keeper of Dragon Magic, Mud Dragon, and then Arcana Extra Joker. So, yeah, both of these have good promos, too. Let's just get to it. Now, this is what I'm going to get Firewall right here. <laughs> Everyone will start getting Firewall now. It'll be in everything after it's banned, you know? Let's see. First off, we have uh, Auto Rocket Dragon for Super Rare. Then Supreme King Zark. There you go. One of my favorite cards. I still love this card. I think he's awesome. Then after that, we have True Draco Heritage for Ultra Rare and Recall. End of the World. I still think it's weird they included those, but pretty cool. It was good reprints, I guess. I will still separate on these. There we go. All right, next pack. Yeah, but this set's really good because it has a lot of good reprints for Link Monsters. You can get Borload, you can get Topologic, of course, Firewall. <laughs> it might not be so great now, but you might want to pick some of them up. Hey, there you go. Ghost Beef. He's <laughs> in the background. And let's see, we have Lila, Twilight Sword, Enchantress. Mythical Beast, Master Cerberus. Not bad. There's actually some hype going around with Jackal right now, so that's kind of interesting. And then also we have Trickster uh, Holly Angel. Not bad either. I'll take it. At least it's a Link Monster. Yeah, the Mythical Beasts have gotten a little bit of hype lately. And last pack. Okay, what are we ending with? Can we get a secret rare that's not a pendulum, technically? <laughs> Let's see. They've both been pendulums, right? Let's see if we can get a Link Monster. Get one of the big reprints. All right, so we have Break Off Trap Hole. Vendred uh, Reorigin, so uh, unfortunately not. And then also Lee, the World Chalice Fairy. And then also Raiko from Twilight Sworn. So, yep, there we go. That's the opening, and I hope you guys have enjoyed. I had some okay luck with this one. I mean, again, nothing crazy, but, yeah, uh, Return of the Duel has actually helped me out, I think, the most. <laughs> so, I'm kind of surprised by that. I really thought out of all the packs, I would not get a hollow from that. So, at least that helped me out. And honestly, for what you're getting from these, it's a pretty good deal. It's just, again, I hope you have a little bit better luck than me. The Mega Ten definitely helps. You get a Mega Ten, you're also getting a Legendary deck and all that kind of stuff. I feel like that is definitely worth the price, then. That's the better box. But uh, pretty much out of all of them, I feel like you're at least getting what you're paying for. It's just down to the cards, <laughs> you know? You just got to have the heart of the cards and hopefully get some good pulls from, from your packs. But you can get Multifaker, too. That is really good, too. So, yep, there you go. Hope you guys have enjoyed the opening. Like I said, there'll be a link in the description. And also, uh, I'm going to give away both these and... You know what? I'm also going to throw in these Kaiba Corpse leaves because I don't know if all of you guys can get that there. They'll be easy to ship all those together. And uh, 
we'll just do that. So link in the description, subscribe, click the link, we'll walk you through everything, I'll contact you. And like I said, I'll announce the winner on Twitter and then also on YouTube because in the communities tab, I can like post updates kind of like with Twitter. So yeah, <laughs> that way you guys can still see it too. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you to Vegan Collectibles. I want to wish everyone a Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. And of course I will catch you guys later. See ya.